This week on Outdoor Bound TV, we travel to Atacokan, Ontario with pro staffer John Herman, where he, his father Bill, and brother Rick have found hundreds of smallmouth bass on spawn beds. Then it's off to the Gulf of Mexico, off the coast of Florida, with a couple of college students who have figured out a method to fund their love of fishing and diving in a relatively unique way. Take a look at this muskie. Here we go. Got him. We have found the bluefish. I have two bass on. Such a thick fish. That was awesome. I love it. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission by Matthews and Vortex Optics. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm Kurt Walbeck. On this week's show, we probably can't go to two locations that are more drastically different than each other. We're going to be 60 miles out in the Gulf of Mexico, off the coast of Florida, looking for amberjack, cobia, and grouper. But first we head to Northwest Ontario with pro staffer John Herman, his dad Bill, and his brother Rick. We're going to be looking for smallmouth bass on spawn beds. Nice color. Beautiful. Well, here we are. We're up in this little uh, shallow bay. We got 67 degree water temp and it's just loaded with bass on beds again. But they're just coming in here. They're just working the beds. I just caught that on a on a four inch jerk uh, minnow by Kalins. So we're just going to pound these things for a couple hours and catch a hundred of them and then we'll go back to the lake trout again. Scrappy little guy. Nice bass. That's a beauty. Look at him. That a boy. To use something that you can see so I'm just using this uh, white and uh, oh I don't know fleck uh, four inch Kalen's jerk and you drop it on the bed wait for the bass to pick it up and move it off set the hook get them back in the water as fast as possible they go right back to the bed little male getting ready to stage for the spawn gotta have little ones to make big ones Is a beautiful Clearwater West smallmouth.
there's one. Number 100. Get him in. Oh, he's a small it's one. It's time for lunch. That way, Rick. He has the pleasure of catching number 100, and it's now lunchtime. A little one for the last one. Hey, everybody. Um, well, it's the last day up here in Atticokan, Ontario, with my dad and my brother. Um, we, we just had to come up and pound these bass one more time. So about five minutes took, took uh, to get these three big, beautiful smallies. Yeah, what an awesome trip, awesome trip. We just had great weather, um, great fishing. Uh, let's get these back in the water, guys. It's been a uh, great week. We've caught lake trout, whitefish, we've caught smallmouth bass, northerns, walleyes, a little bit of everything. Uh, make sure you put it on your bucket list and try and get up here at least once. It's a great experience. Hey, great fish guys. Now don't go away because next we head off the coast of Florida for amberjack, grouper, and cobia, but not in the traditional way that you'd think we'd catch these fish. You'll see what I mean right after the break. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission Crossbows and HHA Sports. Fort Lauderdale, moved over here to Fort Myers for school and I go to Florida Gulf Coast and I've been diving since I was about 15, 14 and doing beach dives in Fort Lauderdale then once I came over here we started getting a lot more serious diving for big fish, going way out 60 miles, 70 miles, targeting big grouper and pelagics. Maybe two or three. Maybe a big Q-Bear. Maybe 10 8 Maybe nothing. Might get down there and it'll be like night. Might get down there and there'll be 10 bull sharks. Kate Stokes. Uh, I'm from Okeechobee. Grew up there on my family's cattle ranch. And I moved here to Fort Myers in 2013. I met Wes in the, through the spearfishing club. We have a club at uh, Florida Gulf Coast. And met him through the club, fished with him for a couple years on that. And when we got really good, we decided to go commercial. Uh, we started commercial fishing in 2017. Grew up in Fort Lauderdale, so it's pretty easy to learn how to dive there. You can just swim off the beach, and the water's clear most days, so it's pretty easy. It's, you can just swim right out, go out to 20 feet, catch lobsters, shoot hogfish, and get the occasional grouper, but 
you don't get the big fish like you do over here in the Gulf over there because you're running a lot further and there's a lot less pressure on them, so you get a chance at much bigger fish over here. Florida Golf Coast, where we go to school, is a, has a spearfishing club and we actually can do fundraisers to make money to be able to have them pay for spearfishing trips or things like that. And we'll do uh, meetings every so often and fundraisers and stuff like that just to help out the community and then the school will reward us for doing all those things and go to other sporting events, stuff like that. 10 minutes, you said? Yeah, I'll do about 10 or 15. Okay, 20 if you stay down long. There's some, too shabby. there's some snapper. <laughs> so yeah, we went out today, we shot some amberjack. We probably got close to our limit. Our limit's 1,500 pounds. A um, couple groupers, some gag grouper, some black grouper, some mangroves, some yellowtails. Some days we'll dive, some days we'll fish. If the water's real murky, it's better to fish because you can't really see anything, so it's more productive to go fish somewhere. And the other day we went out, caught maybe 200 pounds of yellowtail, 200 pounds of red snapper, and then a couple days before that, did just about the same, 200 pounds of yellowtail, 200 pounds of red snapper, so that's a pretty good day. Just rod and reel fishing.
Wes started diving for these commercial boats, these other guys, and we would just go for free and shoot all these fish, and we got really good, and he said, heck, why are we shooting all these fish for these guys? Why don't we just do it ourselves? So my dad ended up giving me this boat, uh, the real cowboy, and, uh, started commercial fishing, got a permit, started to figure out how to really get the fish in the boat, and we've done it for probably about a year. We started in 2017. It's a little expensive to run all the way out here 60 miles to go fishing, so we decided we should probably try and start making money to do it if we wanted to keep doing it. You can't always pay $300 to go fishing every day for your hobby, so. Started commercial fishing. We did pretty good last year. Probably got at least 20 to 25,000 pounds of amberjack last year in the two month season. We got to dive all year for free, so it was a good time. Free diving is perhaps the ultimate connection between man and water. No tanks and other complicated gear, it's just you and the silence beneath the waves. Free diving, or what's commonly referred to as breath hole diving, is a method of underwater diving that does not require the help of a breathing apparatus. Instead of using an air tank, you simply hold your breath for as long as you can until you return to the surface. With free diving, you can only travel as far as the air in your lungs will take you. The incredible feeling of pushing yourself to your limits helps explain the appeal of this sport. Combine that with the sport of spearfishing and the adrenaline is over the top. January to March, all we do is free dive for uh, amberjack. It's a lot of fun. Our limit's 1,500 pounds a trip. So we get to shoot a lot of fish, usually 30 or 40 fish per trip, uh, mainly free diving. Just shoot them in power heads, three prongs, however you can get them. We sell all of our reef fish to uh, Dilly Seafood down in Naples. Um, he has a, a restaurant, he does the same thing we do. Center console, small boat, stays out 24 hours, maybe 48 hours, and his fish is really fresh, comes in the next day. These snapper we shot, the snapper and grouper, I mean, they'll probably be on somebody's plate by tomorrow afternoon. He's got a restaurant, it's called 360 Market, but pretty sweet deal, and he's got a cool chef, does a lot of cool stuff, whole fry, uh, ceviche, I mean, you name it. There's a lot of neat stuff for the fish because it's so fresh, it tastes really good.
Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Acme Tackle and Mountain Dew. Hey everyone, we're celebrating 10 seasons on the air here at Outdoor Bound TV. And next week, well, we're gonna take a look back at some of the highs and some of the lows of some of the great places we've traveled to and some of the tremendous people we've met along the way. So make sure to join us next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the US, around Canada, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Markham Technologies, and Rapala. Rick. What? And yeah. Give me a product placement. What else are you talking about, Wes? Suffix, tendapone, clear, monofilament line. Fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon line. Um, what else are I talking about? Monofil <laughs> fluorocarbon <laughs> line. Well, guys, so it's pretty cool. Try it one more time. What else should I talk about? Uh, we'll be right back after these messages from our fine sponsors. Mm -hmm.